To write the formula for cobalt 3 dichromate, the first thing we'll do is we'll write the element symbol here for cobalt. That's just CO. And this Roman numeral 3 here means that we have a 3 plus on the cobalt. The dichromate, you're not going to find that on the periodic table. It ends in ATE. So it's going to be a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize that the dichromate ion is CR2O7, and the whole thing has a 2 minus charge, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So since cobalt is a transition metal, and then we have this polyatomic ion, these charges, they need to add up to zero. We need a net charge of zero. To do that, we can use something called the crisscross method. We move the two down here, the three over here, we get rid of these symbols. And because we have three of these dichromate ions here, each one is two minus, we need to put parentheses around the ion. So this is the formula for cobalt three dichromate. But let's check our work. We said cobalt, that'll be three plus, and then the dichromate, the whole thing is two minus. Three times two minus, that's six minus. Two times three plus, six plus. These two numbers, they add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. So this is the correct formula for cobalt-3 dichromate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.